Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And we have a new circuit here. This channel is dedicated to those who love to build a circuit. With a PCB or without PCB. And let us see what we have here. We have here. Oh, what is this? It's a Sony Esprit. And we have this. A 12 volt power supply. Also, we have here. This is a buzzer circuit. When you press the button, buzzer is buzzing. Let us see the circuit diagram of this first circuit. This is the buzzer circuit. It seems that the buzzer is just connected to the resistor into the LED. Every time you push the switch here, LED turns on and the buzzer is buzzing. So let us see. That is the regular buzzer circuit now we have this second circuit this is a transistor buzzer circuit let us see the circuit diagram of this transistor buzzer circuit we have here our transistor the buzzer, LED, and the switch. Power on LED. So every time you push the switch here, transistor is operating in saturation mode. So the buzzer, the current, flows into the collector and to the emitter because this transistor is in saturation mode. Unlike the previous one, we just have a simple regular buzzer circuit with power on LED. Regular buzzer circuit. Transistor buzzer circuit. And also I have this previous project. This is a transistor buzzer relay circuit and the circuit diagram is this we have the relay the transistor the switch power LED every time you push the switch here transistor operates in saturation mode and lighting this LED power LED input LED and then the buzzer LED so and the connection to the secondary is this I had the buzzer connected to the secondary because we're using relay this is the control side this is the load side so we're using two voltage supply 12 volts here and 6 volts so this relay is 6 volts and these three are my previous projects what uh, did you notice with the three circuits here they are bought they are all both, uh, they are all using the same switch, momentary switch. And it seems that uh, when you press the button here and you release the button, it stops from buzzing. So I decided to modify the circuit using a LED switch so that. Uh, 
when I push the button here, the buzzer is buzzing and when I release it, it will uh, continue buzzing using the latch switch. And I am using this transistor buzzer circuit to modify the switch. So this is now our reference circuit to make a latch switch. Let us now see the new module. This is now our new module. This is a transistor buzzer circuit with two push button here. This is now having a latch switch. Let us see how it works. Connecting the power supply, we get now this power LED turn set. So when I hit the switch here, buzzer is buzzing and when I hit the switch here it stopped from buzzing so I'm now using a latch switch press the button stops from buzzing press it again stop Every time I push the switch, the input LED turns on. That is the LED monitor. And this LED refers to the on circuit of the buzzer. Stop from buzzing. Unlike the previous one, Using momentary switch, when you release the button, it stops from buzzing. But here, we have a modified switch, a latch switch for the transistor buzzer circuit. Press it again. I'm using two transistors here, buzzer, LED, and many resistors because I'm using a discrete components. I'm not using a chips or IC because uh, maybe some uh, in the maybe someday I will use uh, chips, but here we're using uh, a discrete components. Also, we have here an output provision, external output. It is capable of controlling an external output. So we now come to our circuit diagram. If you are interested on how did I design the circuit, let's move on to our circuit diagram of this new transistor buzzer circuit using a latch switch made up of transistors and resistors. Let's Move on to our circuit diagram. We have here the circuit diagram.
we have the voltage supply 12 volts because I'm using a buzzer of 5 volts and we have two transistor here and we have the push button the two switch that we have and the input of the second transistor connected to the output of the first transistor also the same the input connected to the output of the second transistor I also have here the power LED that is the green one in here as you have noticed here I'm using a by stable mode of operation of the multi vibrator transistor by stable multi vibrator and I'm taking the output at the first transistor I connected the buzzer and the LED to the output this is now the output side or the B output side and uh, let us see how to build this circuit first this is now the initial state of the circuit as you have seen here I also have this base resistor base resistor current limiting resistor for the input LED collector resistor collector resistor buzzer LED the power on LED when you so okay I'm using also a transistor 2 and 3904 for transistor 1 transistor 2 this is a LED switch using two momentary switch or push button during the initial state when you power on the circuit due to raising of course either one of the two transistor is on either this one or this one so let us say that uh, first to turn on is this side and as you have seen here buzzer is off it means the current flows in this way once you power on the circuit current flows into BCC BRD1 D1 power on LED turns on so we get the first KBN and we get 10 volts voltage drop at RD1 using ohms law we get 500 ohms but I use 1 kilo ohm a safe value because I'm using 12 volts so we get the value of RD1 here using the KBL and ohms law and also the current flows at the initial state current flows also here at the RC1 RB2 base to emitter of the transistor 2 so making this transistor to forward bias so we got a second KBL here BCC RC1 RB2 B base to emitter of the transistor Q2 we got the KBL here BCC RC1 RD, RB2 transistor 2 base to emitter saturation transposition we got the voltage of supply 12 volts and then base to emitter saturation of this transistor is 0.65 of this 2N3904 given in the data sheet so we got now by transposition first equation 11.35 volts we're taking the first KBL BCC RC1 RB2 base to emitter of the transistor 2 another one current flows also here because this transistor now is forward bias makes the current to flow from collector to emitter so BCC RC2 collector to emitter and then to the ground we got this KBL oh 
Where is that? Ah, this one first. Also, the current flows here into this line BCC, RC1, D2, and the buzzer. Why is it the current flows here into the buzzer? When if this is the if this one is the initial state because transistor here is on making this two off and this is on current flows into the ground in here to the ground and instead of this current flows into transistor one it flows into the output that's why the buzzer is buzzing when the state and the first initial state this current flows into the buzzer into the LED. So let us first compute for the KBL here. BCC RC1 D2 buzzer. BCC RC1 D2 buzzer. And the voltage uh, rating of the buzzer is 5 volts. Voltage rating transistor 2 volts. I mean the diode LED and we got voltage drop but RC1 5 volts. Using Ohm's law, since we know, to compute for the RC1, and I'm using 0 0.02, that is the current rating of the LED to turn on. I got 220 ohms available, but I computed 250 ohms. I'm using 220 ohms available resistor. So in here, okay. Let us now see how to compute for the values of uh, RB2 here is by using the current gear. Collector current, base current. Since the this type of transistor configuration dependent on the current gain, I see here. Since this is we're operating this transistor in saturation, IC is equal to the current at RC2, also equal to the current of the collector to emitter at saturation. Also equal to 0 0.02 ampere because we're using a by stable mode operation of the transistor and we are designing a symmetrical circuit so when the current flows here is 0 0.02 we need to use 0 0.02 ampere here also uh, so we got here our collector current of the transistor 2 resistor current that IRC2 is the same as current at RC1 0.02 since RC1 is equal to RC24 symmetric circuit so whatever the values of RC1 here is also equal to the values of RC2 here because we need to design a symmetrical circuit as you have seen here RC2 is 0 0.02 and the base current here is current that flows into the RB2 transposition since RB2 is a RB, uh, IBQ2 and I'm using an HFE of this transistor 100 so I got that by transposition here since we know that 0 0.02 100 I got the base current of 0 0.002 ampere since IRC1 is equal to IR B1 is equal to 0 0.002 ampere. So it means that the current that flows in RC1 and RB2 is the same since they are in series at this state. They are in series at this state. They are the same. Substitute to equation 1. Substituting in terms of IR since the uh, current at IRC1 is also equal to IRB2 equal to 0 0.002 ampere by 
substitution, computation, simplification, calculation, and we got this RB1 56,530 ohms. So, for designing a symmetric circuit to make a latch switch, we need the value of RC1 equals RC2, 220 ohms, RB1 is equal to RB2, 56,530 ohms. So, whatever the values of base resistor here should be equal to the base resistor here. Whatever the values of RC1 here equals RC2 because we're designing a symmetric circuit to make a latch switch. So the current flows here, the power LED, and then current flows RC1, RB2, base emitter of the transistor 2. Since the transistor in forward bias makes the current to flows from RC2, BCC, RC2 to the transistor making this to saturate and making this transistor to operate in cut-off mode making this to operate in cut-off mode so instead the current flows into the collector the current will now flow into the output turning the buzzer on just like this one And now, how to compute for the values of RC1 here for the switch? You simply by using KBL, BCC, R1, voltage at D4, base to emitter saturation. Once you trigger the switch here, it makes this. So let us now see. So when you trigger this switch, it will make this line to activate making this to saturate when you push the button here making this transistor to saturate so it uh, alternates just like this one Using the KBL as to the switch, BCC, R1, D4, BC meter transistor, we got 9.35 volts. Base to emitter is 0.65. Using ohms law by substitution, I get 470 ohms available. So the value of resistor here is 470, which should be equal to the value of the second switch, 470. And I have here the schematic diagram of flat switch using two push buttons for transistor buzzer circuit. As you have seen here, this external output left and right that's the pin there, the header and then we got this uh, onboard output should be should have a jumper settings to connect this uh, output onboard output and then the power header i also have this this is the layout and then our schematic diagram and then this is now the circuit diagram RC2 220 R1 is 470 we computed that here R2 470 RC1 220 RD1 1 kilo ohms the buzzer is connected to the first transistor D1 buzzer D2 and then transistor 2 and 3 9 upper base resistor of 56,530 ohms 56,530 ohms So, that's the operation of our latch switch using a 
I buy stable mode operation of the transistor. If you try to, if you're willing to construct the circuit, just use this circuit diagram and you know all the values here and you can construct and build the circuit. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.